Hi all and welcome back to our ongoing let's play of the first Siberia GOG version. And we are still in Baladilen in the crypts. And we will, of course, continue on with trying to solve the mystery of the second uh, voice cylinder. But before we do that, I just wanted to say that if you are enjoying the video, the series or the channel, I would really like it if you hit those like and subscribe buttons. Let's continue with the adventure. I think we are done in the crypt, so let's leave. I will be doing a lot of this, even though it looks a little weird, but in adventure games, it kind of pays off doing that. Okay, let's see. Uh, yeah, I think... Hello there, Bert. I think we'll... Um, just trying to remember where... I think, at least for now, we're down with the church area, but we did get uh, a cylinder. So I'm just trying to remember where we picked up the original one. Oh, can we talk? Yeah, okay. Good morning. Good morning. What a pleasure to meet such a lovely young lady honoring our aging streets. Please, uh, please sit yourself down next to me so we can enjoy the air together. It would be a pleasure, but I'm afraid I don't have the time. Some other time, maybe. I hope so, miss. I remember when these streets were full of vibrant life. In those days, there was a charming encounter to be had round every corner. Our good little town of Valadilen is not what it used to be. It looks like things have changed a bit around here. Our children have all left the valley. They need to earn a living, don't they? Can't really blame them. You have to move with the times, don't you? And it's not at the Vorlberg factory that they'll find jobs. <laughs> Being excluded from the world is not an easy burden to bear, believe you me, miss. But it's such a pretty little village. Uh, I can tell you're not from these parts. I hope you enjoy the pleasures that we still have to offer. Good day to you. Oh, good day to you, sir. Who is this person? Hello again. If you have five minutes to sit and talk, I could tell you a thing or two about the olden days. I am sorry. I, I really am in a hurry. Ah, uh, it is a pity. I kind of want to hear a thing or two about the olden days. Okay, so I think... Um, yeah, I think we got the cylinder in the office at the factory, right? You can actually see that the, the wheel is up and running now. I like little details like that. It's very nice. So, let's see. Right there! You see? 
But it's dark in there. Don't worry, I took a lantern. From the factory. Girls, honestly. You won't look so clever when Father notices you've stolen one of his lanterns. Oh, I'm all covered in mud because of you. Look, Anna. Look. I've seen paintings like this in a library book. They're like you swore, Anna. It's a secret between you and me. Hey, look. There's something else up there. Oh, come on. It's like a toy. I have to have it. Give me some light. But Hans, it's much too high. Do be careful, Hans. Hans, be careful! For weeks, my brother lay in a coma, hanging between life and death. And then one morning, he opened his eyes. But I knew he would never be the same again. We never did return to the cave, and to this day, I have never ever betrayed our secret. Okay. So that gave us kind of the final version of what happened in that cave all those years ago, and we also have the toy dog. So, uh, all right. I don't think we can do anything more up here. Now we can take a look at the, the desk again, I guess. No, that's that. Those are the train schematics. Alright. So, I, uh, I guess we can. As I said before, uh, those black lines unfortunately have to do with getting the game to run in full screens and uh, modded graphics and we'll just have to bear with it. Let's see. So I think maybe... No, that was the mansion. That's not where I want to go. Let's see if Oscar found his way to the train. And also remember, we did something to the train. Before, so. We might have done something uh, before we had to. Is still no one in here. He's, maybe he's on the actual train though. Oh no, the whistler is still there. Oh, there he is. Hello. Hey there, Oscar. My functions do not permit me familiarity, Kate Walker. Even if you are my first and only passenger. Me? Your passenger? Yes, you, Kate Walker. Is it not for that reason you completed my production process? If you say so. Okay, um... This train is amazing. I'm going to travel like a princess. I am happy that you like it, Kate Walker. This train has been designed to optimize passenger comfort. Oscar, you know you could just call me Kate. It would be so much nicer, especially as we're going on such a long journey together. I am sorry, Kate Walker, but I have already logged your name. I cannot modify this data, and my functions do not permit me familiarity, Kate Walker. 
Well, I hope your functions permit you to learn the difference between being familiar and quite simply nice. Indeed. I... I have decided to come along for the ride, Oscar. Ready when you are. Your ticket, please? My ticket? What are you talking about? The rules clearly state, Kate Walker, every passenger of this train must possess a ticket. Okay. And where do I get hold of a ticket? Only the ticket vendor may issue tickets. You are in luck. The ticket office must be open now. You should go there immediately. Awkward. Also, once again, uh, when you pick the correct option in this game, sometimes you uh, miss out. I was trying to go through all the dialogue options, but when I picked mission, he just left. Ah, and now I see why. So he is the, <laughs> he is the ticket guy. Okay, fair enough. But it's you? What can I do for you, madam? But Oscar, it's me, Kate Walker. Correct. Your name is indeed Kate Walker. Oh, maybe we can ask the rest now. Uh, great. This train is amazing. I'm going to travel like a prince. I am happy that... I can't wait to meet Hans Varlberg. What about you? I would find the experience inordinately gratifying. And I won't forget to congratulate him on the success of his incredible automaton. Why, thank you, Kate Walker. Okay. Are you the only automaton on the train, Oscar? I have been designed to attend to all tasks relating to the smooth functioning of the train and the comfort of its passengers. Okay, okay, Oscar. I don't doubt your talents for a second. So, I think we've done most of the things, so uh, let's go with the mission again. What can I do for you, Kate Walker? A train ticket, please. Why, do you sell anything else? The only function of this ticket office is to issue tickets. You are requested to accelerate operations. The office closes in exactly three minutes. What can I do for you? A ticket, please. One ticket? Yes. One ticket. What is your final destination? Uh, I don't know. It's you who told me I had to get a ticket. A ticket to travel then. All right. Train ticket for the mechanical railway. Depart from Valley Land. And there we have the picture. This ticket is valid for one person and should be presented to any official of the mechanical railway when so required. Awesome. Oh, made to Altotair's practice, Valadilan Notary, document AZ654. Authorization for access to all or part of the movable and immovable estate constituting, constituting part of an inheritance. The Vorlberg heritage. Description of the object. One mechanical propulsion locomotive, including coaches, accessories, and driver. The present document, stamped by the recognized permitting authority, entitles the holder of this document access to the aforementioned property. There you are. Do not lose it. This office is not entitled to produce duplicates. This advice also applies to the accompanying documentation. What's that? The authorization for the release of the train. The ticket officer may ask you for it at any time. But I mean, you are the... Attention! The exact moment has arrived to close this office. Um... Where... Where did he go? Maybe uh, he's back on the train somehow? Kate, it's me again. 
Dan, I was going to call you. Yeah, yeah. Are you mad at me? I've just called Marson and Lormont. They told me you weren't expected to return this week. Oh, yeah. So when are you coming home? I don't know. There's nothing I can do about it. The situation is kind of tricky, you know. At the beginning of next week, I hope. Yeah, whenever. Dan, please. Just hang in there, okay? The stakes are higher than I thought, and you know how much I love this job. I suppose it's neither here nor anywhere to you that the Goldbergs are going to... It is. I mean, it isn't. I mean, Dan, this really isn't the moment. You know I'm thinking about you. I love you, sweetheart, and I'll give you a call when I have some news. Promise. I've got to go now. I've got kind of a, a train to catch. A train? Where are you off to now? This is crazy, Kate. To tell you the truth, I've no idea. Love you, honey. You know that. Kate! Well, for being such a smart person, why is she stuck with such an idiot? He's just an asshole, really. Anyway, enough about that. Are we ready? It's me again, Oscar. Hello, Kate Walker. Okay. Why aren't we setting off, Oscar? I must abide by regulations. Your ticket, please, Kate Walker. Oh, okay. Don't think for one moment that I'm bored of you, Oscar. But I have to go. I also have much to attend to, Kate Walker. No, you don't. You're just standing around. Okay. Ticket, ticket, ticket. There you are, Oscar. Does this mean we can leave now? I cannot accept this ticket for the moment, Kate Walker. Keep it. Why don't you want to take my ticket? I must abide by regulations, Kate Walker. Not all departure conditions have been fulfilled. I must confirm your departure release. You can be a real stickler for the rules, Oscar, my old fellow. Release. So... Here. This is the authorization for the release of the train. It has not been signed, Kate Walker. Oscar, you're going too far. You just gave me this. Does the train belong to you, Kate Walker? No. So there. This train cannot leave Aladdin without the agreement of its owner. I don't think Madame Varlberg is in a position to sign anything right now. In that case... The stamp of her legal representative is perfectly sufficient. Please hurry up, Kate Walker. This train will soon depart, and I must ensure it is not delayed. Well, at least he gave us all the information that we need. And also... Oh, wait. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just thinking, where did we see that stamp? But it was at the very first place with the lawyer. So, back to his office, I guess. And yes. There we have it. Okay, so we need uh, that with this. Um, oh, yeah, I had forgotten about that. Uh, yeah, so, yay. I think we're done here.
Yeah, that looks official. So I guess we're going back to the train again. Here, this is your stupid train release ratification, Oscar. Thank you, Kate Walker. That is perfect. There you are, Oscar. Does this mean we can leave now? I cannot accept this ticket for the moment, Kate Walker. Keep it. I don't understand why we can't leave. I'd hate to think it's me that's delaying the train like this. I do not wish to appear impolite, Kate Walker, but I am afraid that not all departure conditions have been fulfilled. If that's a joke, Oscar, it's not very funny. I really need to find Hans Vorlberg as quickly as possible. I have strict instructions to obey. There are three spaces in the luggage compartment that are designed to accommodate two very important objects. The train can only depart when they are in place. Please excuse me now. I must return to my departure preparations. Oh, I wouldn't want to break any rules. I don't think he has a sense of humor, Kate, so... You know. Okay, so we're back to this place. These shelves look as if they're made for valuable objects. These shelves look as if they're made for valuable objects. Oh, okay. Um. Um. What board do we have? Cylinders? Can we do anything with those? Oh, we can actually look closer at this. Oh, okay. I mean, that's one, two, Okay, so it's only that, but what about this? These shelves look as if they're made for valuable objects. Let's see, what else do we have? Diary? Let's try the diary, even though I don't think that's... I mean, none of this is, like, it's just papers. Okay. And there's nothing. It's my bag. No point weighing myself down. Okay, so she's not going to do that. So we need something for this, something of value. Let's take a closer look. I wish you could inspect it uh, in some way. But the only thing she says is, no. These shelves look as if they're made for valuable objects. Okay, so let's think. 
I must have missed an item somewhere. <coughs> Look around for a bit and see if I Because we need a valuable object and all the other stuff has to do with Anna and Hans. So I think it's either in the mansion or at her office. Let's start. Let's start at the old office and then go to the mansion again. Still nothing on this screen, so I think there's... We did do that. Can we do something here still? Oh, yeah! It popped at the end of that. And that's... Okay, yeah. I think we have what we need now. Hands and Anna mechanical toy. So the, the memory was only half of it, because that triggered the mechanical toy to uh, disconnect from the pedestal. Okay, that was me just missing some details, I guess. One thing that bothers me a little bit, hopefully it's not... I hope I'm not correct, but... The little cabinet where we put the cylinders it looked like it had two additional slots and we only had those two. So I hope I haven't missed two of them somewhere in, in the village. That would be our start and see if this is enough. Otherwise we are going back to the mansion to snoop around some more. Snoop, snoop. Yeah, this does kind of look similar to... Uh, yeah, so this room looks a bit more nice. Let's see. Right, everything is in order then. The train is finally ready to leave. I am most terribly embarrassed. Such ignorance on my part is inadmissible. I hope you still have confidence in my abilities, Kate Walker. Please return to your seat and we can leave. Finally.
All right, we have arrived somewhere, which is nice. And I think we will find out where exactly we are in the next part. Thank you for coming along on this Siberia adventure. I hope you had as much fun as I had. I would love it if you hit those sub and like buttons and if I saw you again in the next part. But for now, it is time to say bye bye.